Hello! Welcome back to Workado Basics. If you haven't already, check out our last Workado Basics videos, handling errors and exceptions and bidirectional sync. To recap, in the past videos, we built an automation that creates an issue in Jira for the engineering team to review when the support team escalates a case in Salesforce. We enhance this automation to update issues in Jira if a case is existing, as well as add a comment to a case in Salesforce if a Jira issue is updated. In this iteration, we will see how we can utilize mappings to transform data in our use case. We can use transformations to improve data integrity, convert one data type to another, format data, or other to create outputs expected by apps through which the data flows. We will focus on three different types of transformations, cross-referencing data across systems, data type conversions, and enriching data with additional information. Let's see how we can apply these transformations in our recipe. We will modify our recipe to cross-reference data. First, we'll create a lookup table to map the status of a Salesforce case to the status of a JIRA issue. In the Workado homepage, click on Tools and then Lookup Table. Here, we will click on To Create a New Lookup Table. We will name it Salesforce to JIRA Status and create two columns titled Salesforce Status and JIRA Status. Here, we will specify the mappings from Salesforce to JIRA. This is important as because the case status changes, we want to update the status in JIRA to make it easier for engineers to read. If the status in Salesforce is new, it will be mapped as open in JIRA. If it is working, then in JIRA it is in progress. If it is escalated in Salesforce, then in progress in JIRA. And finally, if it is closed in Salesforce, it will be mapped as resolved status in JIRA. Now we go to our recipe to edit our actions. I created an action to search for entries based on Salesforce and JIRA status in the lookup table we created. In the Create Issue action, I added a custom field of status and mapped the corresponding JIRA status that was found in our lookup table. To test, I went to Salesforce and updated my case. As you can see, the status of this case is new, which means it should be mapped as open in JIRA using our lookup table. When testing, you can see that it was successful. To check the lookup table conversion details, you can see the input was Salesforce status new and the output checked the corresponding lookup table column. Then when checking the job details for the create issue action, I can see that it transformed from new to open. To check, I went to JIRA and saw a new issue in JIRA with the status open. After cross-referencing, we can convert data. Here we can make it easier for engineers to know what type of case it is and how to reference it. We will map the case origin, type, and subject to the JIRA issue summary. When getting ready to map information, you can see the set of formulas that you can use. Mercado provides over 400 different formulas to transform data. The formulas can be used for data conversion, data arithmetic, regular expressions for string manipulation, and more. Here, in the create issue action, we will add a description by concatenating multiple fields. I will map the case origin field dot capitalize, which capitalizes the first letter. Add a dash, map the case type, dot capitalize, and then map the Salesforce description. Here, we will specify that we only want the first 30 characters of the description, so we use dot slice from 0 to 31 to get the first 30 characters. In our description, we will also utilize our lookup table created previously to return the corresponding Salesforce status that was found. To test, I went to Salesforce and updated a case with no Salesforce case ID present. As you can see, the job was successful, meaning it created an issue in JIRA. In JIRA, I can see a new issue was created with case origin, type, and summary. Next, we will run some custom transformations to enrich data. In this example, we will check if multiple customers have reported the same issue with logging into their account. In the case, the recurrence of such issues exceeds a threshold, for example, 10, we will escalate the issue and post the issue details in an engineering war room in Slack. First, we will search issues by JQL, which is the JIRA query language in JIRA. When a new case comes in, we will query JIRA with a particular summary. And if the same problem has been reported by multiple users, for example, more than 10, we will escalate it to engineers. We will specify the JQL query string to search by, which is the case origin and type. Next, we will create a variable called JIRA issue count to keep track of how many issues are created. Next, we will create a for each loop to count the JIRA issues returned by the search query. We will say the for each item in issues, then create an if statement, if the summary contains unable to log into. If this is true, we will update the variable to count up by one. Then, if the JIRA issue count is greater than 10, we will post a message in Slack. 
to inform the engineering team in the war room that there is an escalating problem that needs their immediate attention. We will include the number of instances of this problem, the case origin, case type, and the link to the issue in the Slack message. This makes it easy for the engineering team to quickly access all the information they need to triage and fix the issue. To test, I went to Salesforce and updated a case. As you can see, the job was successful, meaning it checked for issues in JIRA. After going to Slack, you can see it counted 12 JIRA issues and mapped the case origin, type, and link. This is one of the many ways you can enrich data to provide more context and relevance. See how easy that was? Now you can transform your data easily to fit your needs. To learn more, visit docs.workado.com or request a demo today. Happy automating!